Hey y'all, welcome to Nash Disney Explorers, Jason here. So you want to go to Disney World, but you might be worried about the accommodations for a person with a disability. And with all the crowds of people, will you even be able to enjoy yourself? Well, in this video, we'll show you how it's possible to have a great time at Disney World using the tools that are available for you. We'll even race to see what scooter is the fastest. And, of course, we have to explain my dad's funny outfit, right? No, no, what happened? And if you find this video helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing for more wonderful information like this. Hi, Dad. <laughs> How are you all today? He, uh, he has a little issue with his neck going on where he has a hard time uh, kind of enjoying life, huh? It's a little rough sometimes. It's rough, but when I sit down, I'm fine. But he wanted to be here with his family, so we are going to explore the, you know, the disability uh, passes and uh, these scooters and everything that can help a person that has a disability. So uh, he's going to be a trooper, I guess, here and go through uh, Disney with us. And we're going to see how all this works and see if he uh, makes it okay through and if all the conveniences for, for someone that's disabled, uh, if, they're, if they're good for you in the parks here. So we will test that and see how that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> so far it's been really good. Yeah. I mean, the people here have been very accommodating and very friendly and nice to us. So this right here, you can go pick up right at the end of the... The walkway here and you can get you a wheelchair we got a wheelchair here for grandpa to get him in there so we can get him a scooter but we're going to go get the das pass set up and uh, see how that we're works to rent these scooters right here this is the place where you rent these you can rent them in the park and or you can uh, rent ones outside the park so right now we're going to rent these in the park so he doesn't have to be pushed in a wheelchair the price on these are 70 dollars, but when you turn it back in you get 20 dollars back so they're 50 bucks to rent one of these for the day and on these scooters you can actually if you park hop, you just give this one back here, and then you can don't have to pay extra to get another one at the other park that you go to. So they have to fill out these forms to uh, so say they're liable for the machine itself. All right, so Grandma and Grandpa are in their ECVs, electric convenient vehicles is what they're called. This thing's slow as crap. <laughs> you don't like you don't like your scooter. I can walk faster than I can walk on this go on this scooter. The ass pass, the disability pass, which my son has to get as well, because he is pretty hobbled. We go to guest relationships here, guest relations, to get the DAS pass. So then uh, we will explain what the DAS pass is. So he can't get a DAS pass because it's a mobility issue. We'll get one for my dad, and uh, that should uh, be able to do it. Guests with any physical or mental condition that affects their ability to wait in a standard attraction line for an extended period may qualify for a DAS Pass. And there's a broad range of disabilities that may be eligible for this pass. You open your app, go to your tip board, right? And then you look through, that's the easiest way to do it because it shows all the rides that are in the park that you're in. So Disney's Hollywood Studios and you just choose what you want to use your DAS Pass for. Um, Yep, so here we go. I'm going to show, let's just do this. You, but you always push standby lane for the fast pass, not Genie Plus, you're doing a standby lane. You hit that, and then this comes up DAS, and then it has you return at 3.52, you hit that. It's not going to let me because I'm already booked with something else. And then you choose who you want, continue, and the next page will say confirm, and then you click confirm. But we already have one scheduled, so I can't go in there and get a different one. When you have the DAS pass, you go through the lightning lane, you click the scanners to, to get through. The first person that has the DAS pass clicks first, and then the rest of the crew can go in after they clear the person with the DAS pass. Look, it can walk. Yeah, it can walk perfectly fine. He just had knee surgery a month ago. Yeah, I shouldn't He's be walking, a, but it's okay. He's being a trooper. Just don't let his doctor see this. He'll yes. be in trouble. A stormtrooper, yeah. For our uh, DAS Pass getting out of the rides, we've been able to get on the rides. I think the longest we've waited is probably about 10 minutes on each ride. And the way the DAS Pass works is once you go onto your smartphone and you uh, hit your DAS Pass, which ride you want to go on, you have to wait the same amount of time that, uh, that that's posted on the outside of the ride. So if it's a 30 minute wait, you have to wait 30 minutes before you can get in line. And then you wait about, we've waited about 10 minutes or so. Uh, probably the longest ride we, we went on so far. So if you need an ECV or a scooter, is what I like to call them, all the time, and not just for the parks, you can rent them from outside companies. So we could get these scooters right here instead of the scooters at uh, Disney. 
These are a lot faster, so you have the option they bring it here to your hotel. We are at the Animal Kingdom Lodge today. You can use the scooters everywhere, inside the resort, park it up into the, the room, everything. So it's fantastic to have. And so this is going to be a lot better, but we have to take the buses with these scooters. They're in their scooters. Who's, who's going to have the fastest scooter here? <laughs> they have scooters for their whole trip now. They don't have to worry about getting on and off of it. Oh, look how fast it is. You can pop these things right up on the boats here. We're on a boat, getting ready to go on a boat. It can take you to anywhere you need to go. We're going to head from Magic Kingdom to Wilderness Lodge right now. So uh, you can get these things right on here on the boats as well. We found some new Disney scooters or ECVs at Epcot. So my dad thought it would be fun to race them to see if they're any faster than the old ones. We've got the new ones and the, uh, the new Disney ones to see how fast they are. Well, they're, they're a lot better than they used to be. It's not focusing, Dad. There we go. Uh, no, he's still got a faster one, Mom. Yeah, but that's still a lot better than it was. Yeah. They're a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> so, Pops, why are you wearing that outfit? We all need to know, why did you choose that outfit today? First of all, I want to, I want to explain my outfit here. See, I was, um, I was in the uh, Disneyland hospital, and when I came out, I looked like this. And then I talk like this. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and then they put me in that chair over there. And sometimes it goes fast and sometimes real slow. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's all, folks. <laughs>